welcome back to our YouTube channel. So, ngayong araw na to is usapang visa pa rin tayo. So, this video is related on sa video regarding a uh, Turkey visa. Okay? Let's say your visa got denied. Then, I'm gonna share with you uh, my experience as well. And yes, just to let you know, the very first time I applied my Turkey visa, I was denied. Okay, so let me tell you guys what I did for me to get my visa approved. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so just to give you a brief background guys. My yes schedule is already been fixed actually. So my flight was already booked. So I am scheduled to go to Cebu. Uh, this is to accompany our technical director to visit a customer there. And then, the next day will be our flight to Singapore. So, ang nangyari kasi guys, nung time na nagpunta ko ng embassy to pick up my passport, it is so unexpected. Um, I keep on checking my passport each page, pero wala akong makitang visa nung <laughs> pag-abot sa akin. So, all I got um, is this one. So, yeah. This. So, kung ganito yung may kita mo sa yung passport, ibig sabihin, hindi ka nabigyan ng visa. You're denied. Okay? So, ano yung tip ko para dyan? So, doon ko lang nalaman, guys, na po pwede ka palang mag-apply as early as next day after your denial okay so kung you have another set of your requirements yung mga documents mo kung meron ka then you can reapply the next day <laughs> that's cool diba kasi sa ibang countries kapag na denied ka you have to wait for one two or three weeks bago ka makapag reapply so for turkey you can apply as soon as possible and just to make, just make sure lang guys na during your previous interview with the consul, kung babalik ka for another uh, application, tandaan mo lang din kung ano ba yung sa tingin mo, yung feeling mo na reason kung bakit ka na-denied. Kasi guys, hindi naman nila sinasabi kung ano yung reason ng denial mo. Okay? So, just make sure lang na double check mo ulit yung mga documents mo, yung requirements mo. Kung sa tingin mo isa doon ay eh, medyo sablay, then try to fix it bago ka bumalik. Or kung the way you answer doon sa question, then try to be uh, composed as much as you can bago ka bumalik para pag nag-answer ka ng questions ng konsul, eh, wala ka nang maging problem. Okay? So, yun lang naman. You can come back um, as early as next day para mag-reapply. So, hindi mo kailangan mag-intay ng matagal. Okay? So, yun na nga, syempre, na-denied na ako, then, meron nakapagsabi sa akin na kung babalik ako, it would be better daw kung try ko daw sa hapon. Kasi, in the afternoon, isa na lang yung consul doon, at, at yun yung Turkish na consul, yung lalaki. So, kung yun daw yung makakausap mo, it would be better. Kasi, most of the time talaga, nagbibigay siya ng visa, hindi siya nang de -denied. So, I just followed that. I just tried. You know, wala namang masama. So, nag apply ako November 19. So, take note guys, yung flight ko na nirebook papuntang Cebu and then Cebu to Singapore is November 25th. Okay? So, medyo tight na yung schedule kasi November 19 was Tuesday. So, nakiusap ako dun sa consul, pwede po ba makuha ko ng 22nd, which is Friday that week, kasi flight ko na ng 25 uh, Monday. And then, sabi niya, hindi pwede. Kasi, yung normal processing talaga nila, di ba, is one week. So, supposedly, dapat makukuha ko yung visa 26 pa, Tuesday. E eh, sabi ko, flight ko na ng 25th. Sabi niya, as yung earliest possible na pwede kong makuha yung visa is Monday, which is the 25th. So, since yung flight ko naman is afternoon, sabi ko, edi sabi ko, okay, pumayag na rin ako kasi wala rin naman akong choice. So, ayun, bumalik ako ng 25th and luckily, nakuha ko na yung visa this time. 
So, um, eto naman yung nakita ko nung na-approve na ako. Okay? So, ganito siya. So, ayun, um, okay naman, wala naman ako naging problem, nakahabol naman ako dun sa flight ko, hindi naman ako na late. So, ano yung second tip? Yung second tip, um, if you got denied, try to come back in the afternoon, kasi nga, so you can speak to the Turkish consul officer. Remember, in my previous video, sabi ko sa inyo, dalawang consul yung nag assist sa mga applicants. So, yung babae na consul, she is a Filipino. And then, yung other one, yung lalaki, which is a Turkish guy. Yun, guys. So, uh, if you have other questions, uh, feel free to comment down below, guys. I can answer you. And, um, wala naman sigurong mawawala kung itatry nyo yung second tip na sinabi ko. Um, I think, uh, I don't know, pero kasi nag-work siya sa akin. So, but I'm not saying it, it will work for you too, but there's no harm in trying. Okay? So, ganun din naman. Consul din naman yung kakausapin nyo. And, uh, better na afternoon ka pupunta kasi in the morning, it's uh, super traffic. So, yun lang. Just make sure na pag afternoon ka pupunta for your application is 12.30 pa lang nando doon ka na. Kasi 1 p.m. eksakto, nagpapa, nagahatid na sila doon sa embassy ng applicant. So, kapag pumunta ka doon ng uh, past 2 p.m., uh, hindi ka na aabot. Okay? So, yun lang. So, sana nakatulong tong video nito sa inyo, guys. Um, let me know kung nag-work sa inyo to, kung, kung sinubukan nyo. Please comment down below. And uh, thank you very much for watching. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. Okay? So, that's all for now. You have a great day, guys. Bye!